Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. I want you guys to watch this short 15 second clip and then we're gonna come back and talk about it. And I can also go back in here and go to message list and I can see that it's sent right there. In fact, it's got a four next to it. Message number one has a four next to it. I assume that that might mean it got received by four people. Actually, now it's a three. No, I don't know what that means. Okay. All right. So I spotted that little clip in one of Ham Radio 2.0's video, and I wanted to talk about it because there's probably more folks than him that don't remember exactly what that little number is for. And what he was seeing on the radio screen was the message retry attempts. And almost all of your radios have this. The VGCs have it. Yezus have it. Kenwoods have it. Pretty much every APRS radio you can think of has it. Now, so what happens is, is the radio, if it doesn't get an acknowledgement that the message was received by the party you're sending it to, then the radio will retry. Now, how many times will it retry? Well, that depends on the radio. I believe with the Yezu FTM 500, that is four attempts. I can't recall for the uh, Kenwood D75 exactly how many attempts it will make. Uh, APRS Droid, you can actually set the number of message retry attempts, and I believe by default that comes in at 7. So all of the radios will keep trying to send that message periodically until it either exhausts the number of attempts or it gets a reply acknowledging that the message was received. Now, why would we want a radio to continue to try when it didn't get through the first time? Well, with APRS, there's a couple of different reasons. With APRS, remember that everybody is working on one single simplex frequency. And because of that, you can just have packet collisions. So if I try to transmit my message and you try to transmit your message at the exact same time, and we're basically in the same area, well, the Digipeter may not be able to decode either of those packets. So because of those retry attempts, if we do have a packet collision, it may get through the next time. The other reason for that is, let's say you're driving down the highway when you try to send out that message, and you happen to have a rock wall between you and the Digipeter. Well, that first message attempt is probably just going to be absorbed by those rocks and not make it to the Digipeter. But let's say a mile down the road, you're now back out on a clear interstate and you're not, you know, right next to that rock wall anymore. Well, now when the radio tries a second time and it has a clear path to the Digipeter, it'll be able to get that message sent successfully. Now, before we wrap this up, let's talk about one other case, and that's exactly what uh, Jason with Ham Radio 2.0 was attempting to do. He was sending a message to CQ, and that was a group message. So with group messages, you never get an acknowledgement that that message was delivered because group messages go out to everybody that is subscribed to that CQ group that he was sending the message to. So in that particular case, the radio is just going to retry uh, that message for whatever number of attempts it is set to. Now, does that really hurt anything? Well, kind of yes and no, but I can't think of a better way to do it. You're creating some extra QRM on the band because it's transmitting a message multiple times. However, there's not really a good way to do it because you wouldn't want, let's say, 90 radios that got the message to all send an acknowledgement necessarily at the same time either. On the flip side of that, it doesn't come through the receiving party's radio multiple times because once it gets that message, it realizes that when it sees it a second time, if it does, that it is in fact a duplicate message, and it won't even display that on the screen. So there's a little bit of information about message retries for APRS, and I hope that helps you if you didn't completely understand it before this video. If you found today's information educational, please give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then... Seven three.